uh, with Hugh Broster uh, in Cheshire in 1520. And it's important for us to note that within 10 years, the feudal system had ceased to exist. The accumulated force of new ideas, the pandemic uh, that uh, Europe had encountered, uh, and new mechanisms for facilitating exchange had been enough to dislodge and transform a social structure that had been resistant to change for hundreds and hundreds of years. So this was a big deal. Uh, and it's also exciting and important to note that the lords weren't all bad guys uh, in this transition. Many of them recognized uh, that the system they were a part of needed to change. Uh, some of them freed their serfs. Others saw that there were moral and economic inefficiencies in the feudal system, uh, and they even supported those that were coming up with the ideas to create something better. The end of the feudal system ushered in the Enlightenment, which was at the time the greatest era of progress and prosperity uh, that individuals uh, had ever experienced. Uh, and with a new set of rights and the ability to shape their own societies, institutions, and destinies, people lived dramatically better lives. The expansion of knowledge that followed laid the groundwork for an unprecedented revolution in innovation, uh, and that, along with the systems of democracy and individual liberties that undergird our societies, really was the, the baseline for much of the progress uh, that we have experienced in the world ever since. 500 years later, Hugh's story can be our story. We can change the system in which we're trapped. We can usher in a new architecture of rights that will empower individuals uh, to lead better lives and seek better destinies. We have all of the prerequisites. We have ideas that can form the foundation for a better system. The status quo is sadly, in many ways, being altered by a tragic, horrific pandemic that's forcing us to revalue the role of data and information and digital tools in our society. And leaders around the world are coming together, together to build the infrastructure that could form the foundation of more equitable digital commons. And we'll need to push governments everywhere to make the next 10 years a digital decade when we can build open source systems that will hardwire these principles uh, into our societies and power uh, our institutions in the future. But like my 15th great grandfather 500 years ago, we are standing on the precipice of a new enlightenment. And in contrast to what much of goes on in a feudal system, what happens next will be up to us.